On the 31st of December 2019, citizens of nations around the world celebrated, eagerly awaiting a new year filled with hope and promise. But in the city of Wuhan, China, the feeling in the air was different. For weeks, health officials had been puzzling over multiple cases of a strange pneumonia-like ailment that had no name and no origin, but was slowly taking over the city of 11 million people. Hong Kong reported two more cases linked to Wuhan flu. Bringing officials alerted the World Health Organization, and by February 7, 2020, Europe also confirmed its first case of the strange ailment in France. Four days later, China announced its first death due to the ailment known today as COVID-19. Two weeks after the first death in China, the death toll had risen to 106, and by January 30, 2020, the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a global health emergency. The number of confirmed cases in China had jumped to 9,809. Russia, Spain, Sweden, and the United Kingdom had also confirmed their first cases of the virus. As at March 24, 2020, there are over 409,507 confirmed cases and 18,278 deaths. And the virus has been detected in more than 150 countries and territories, with Italy, the US, and Spain experiencing the most widespread outbreaks outside of China. On March 19, 2020, Italy overtook China as the country with the most coronavirus-related deaths, registering 3,405 dead compared to 3,245 in China. In fact, in one day, Italy recorded 793 deaths uh, to COVID-19. The new uh, record of 793 people have now lost their lives. Uh, it's hard to what imagine started what as an unidentified illness confined mainly to a city in China was now being defined as a global pandemic. When Nigeria recorded her first case of coronavirus on the 25th of February after an Italian man arrived in the country, many you thought it was a coronavirus hoax. In Nigeria. Some even claimed no. it was a ploy by the nation's health ministry to get attention and money. But since that first case was reported in the country, Nigeria has recorded over 40 new cases and one death to COVID-19. Right before our eyes, the coronavirus pandemic is changing our world in ways we never thought possible and impacting on millions of lives globally. Businesses are being compelled to shut down as nations close their borders. For billions of people all over the world, life has literally come to a standstill. In Nigeria, new cases of COVID-19 are recorded every day. But some say the worst is still to come and we should brace ourselves for the coming storm. Uh, definitely there will be more cases reported and we have to brace ourselves for an evolving situation over the next few days as we work very hard. Slowly and steadily, our country is going into a lockdown. But the big question is, how prepared are we to take on this unseen lethal enemy while adjusting our lives to the new reality of social distancing, homeschooling, virtual worship, and paranoia? <laughs>